What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna be checking out this Red Arc portable solar panel. It's gonna be 120 watts and easily just fold it out and set it out. Whether you're off the grid camping from time to time in a rooftop tent or a camper, you can set this out, point at the sun and get that charge on that battery wherever you are. Let's check it out. Taking a closer look at the solar panel, it's monocrystalline. So usually when it comes to solar panels, there's two different types, monocrystalline, is a little more expensive and then polycrystalline and that one this one's going to be way more efficient so i'd rather have this one when you're trying to get as much as you can out of the sun i would go with the monocrystalline just because you know it's more efficient with the power it's getting now it also goes up to it has an output of six amps so that's at max efficiency too so if you have it directly on the sun you're getting really good like there's no clouds in the sky that day you can get it point straight out there you'll get six amps out of this what we're looking at today is just the solar panel. So if you're starting from scratch and you're wanting to apply this to your rig, I recommend looking at the kit. We have a kit on our website, from Red Arc, same panel, but you get some of the accessories that come with it that you're gonna need to set this up. One of the ones that is most important is the charge controller. You can't hook up a solar panel directly to a battery. So the charge controller, what it does is takes the power that's coming from the solar panel and regulates it so it's not too much for the battery to handle. A reason maybe you want to buy just one solar panel and not the rest of the kit. Maybe you already bought it before. Maybe you damaged your solar panel, so you're just looking to replace that. Or maybe you're looking to add in another solar panel with your kit. Some of the things you're going to need to do that, though, is make sure you get a splitter cable. That way it's going to run. You're going to plug it into both solar panels and make it one cord. So then that will plug into your charge controller. And the split cable is going to allow you to run them in series or parallel to each other. Then make sure you check your charge controller to make sure it can handle the output of both solar panels put together. That way that doesn't overload your battery or your charge controller. Looking at the back of our panel here, you can see that the connections ran are just your standard Anderson connections. So that makes it really easy to disconnect when it's time to put it away or when you're setting it out and putting it all together. Much like those Anderson connections, the whole thing's really easy to set up. I'm just gonna show you right here. Let's put these arms down pull it up it's ready to go all you have to do is slide it in its case and zip it up now to set it up is the same thing just the other way so it's going to split it up like this set it down carefully then on the back side bring out the kickstands and then just set it back down then once you get it put in its case you set it in there zip it up the handle on the solar panel itself acts as a handle for the whole thing. It's got a nice padded outside there just to help further protect your solar panel. And then on this side, you have a pocket so you can put any accessories that go with it in here, maybe extension cables or something like that. Zip it up and it's all in one place. I like that it's all together. That way when you put it in your basement store, you don't have to go be looking for all the other cords or accessories with this. It's all right here and ready to go when you need it. Overall, I think it's a good solar panel with the carrying case included. I really like that you can keep everything all together and it'll be good whether you're replacing your solar panel or adding to what you got. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out. I hope this helped. 